All right, so this Ben's trip was very, very interesting. I found some really great stuff to sell. I left some extra footage in this one because I think I missed a lot of stuff. So you guys let me know in the comments what you think I should have picked up. But wait until you see this one item. Oh my goodness. Wow. And then I see these sitting in someone's cart. Like really, who buys stuff like this? Stay tuned for more on that. And here's one of my cool finds. I'll show you how I listed that. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, so that was just an empty safe. Um, I did not even have to open it, it was uh, empty. All right, so you guys, like I said, I left some extra footage in here. There's some things that as I was watching this back that I feel like I missed. This is a lovey, it's a security blanket. If you ever see those, pick them up. That one was in really bad condition, so I left it behind. But those can be a big money bolo and they are great bread and butter. So anytime you see those lovies, definitely um, definitely uh, look them up. And if they're really cheap, just grab it and go. All right. Wait until you guys see what I find in one of the bins. Oh my gosh, we all had a good laugh. Some of the ladies there that um, I've been shopping with that I'm getting to know. Oh my goodness, we were, we were laughing. That's towards the end of the video, so you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned. I don't know what that was, but it was kinda cool. Okay, so I pick up this pan, and I think it was for an induction cooktop, but the inside was kinda scraped, so I left it behind. But I know those induction cooktop pans can be high dollar. I'm wondering now if I should've got it. Let me know in the comments if you would've bought this pan. I should've looked it up at least. And it had the cool pattern, but it didn't have a lid. This I thought about getting for Poshmark. Um, it was like baby boy um, baby shower items. I feel like that stuff would do good on Poshmark, but I left it behind. I do look for sealed DVDs. i kind of a sucker for picking those up. I know they're major bread and butter, but if they're sealed, I don't have to test them. They're really cheap. They're easy to list. So you will see me pick those up from time to time. And I totally missed that bop it right there. I cannot believe I missed it. Um, I think it would have been a bread and butter. I don't know. I have one that I bought here the um, in one of my other hauls, and I did a couple videos on my reseller testing Bolo products channel where I'm testing it, and oh my goodness, it was so fun. I haven't listed it yet because it's fun, <laughs> so I'm hanging on to it for now. Um, I tried to get my husband to try it, and I did better than him. <laughs> But anyway, that was a different style. So I know that Anytime Picker, he sold one. It was brand new in the package and it sold for big money. It was a big money bolo, but it was in the original packaging. I think that's why it went for more. But I think it was more that style. So I cannot believe I missed it. You guys let me know if you see anything else that I miss. I did pick this little guy up. Um, I have listed these before. I figured it was probably like 50 cents or less by weight, not not much at all. I pay $1.79 a pound at my Goodwill bins, and I think it's 59 cents a pound for books. And I did venture over to the clothing. I found a couple things. You guys know I don't do much clothing. They're more accessories, but uh, stay tuned for that. Some of my finds are near the end. I did sell one item already. I find a really cool vintage item. I've got it priced kind of high. You're going to see it here soon. I've got it up for auction, just kind of feeling out the market. I'm not sure what this dollhouse was, but I know at my bins, if you talk to them for the heavy items, they will work for, work with you on price because that big dollhouse would have been a lot of money at $1.79 a pound, more than I would want to pay for it. But I didn't even look it up. Maybe I should have. If you guys know anything about that, let me know. This is the item. I think the head is paper mache, but it's made in Japan. I love vintage made in Japan items. It is posable. It's just really, really cool. So I'm excited about that one. If it doesn't sell on auction, I'm going to probably 
put it at a hundred dollars or best offer and my sale will kick in and take it down to around 75 80 bucks for that and i'm just going to kind of wait on the right buyer i feel like it's unique and different and it's still got the original tags all right i can't remember what that was i did open it up and check it out and i left it behind so um some sort of maybe crafting thing or something so normally I leave the sound in the background of me ruffling through the bends. I did not do that today. So let me know in the comments, do you like it like this where it's quiet and just my voice? Or do you like it better when you can hear me digging through the bends in the background? Put that um, down in the comments so I know. And I know it's probably going to be a big mix of um, some of you are going to like it one way and the others are going to like it the other way. So maybe I'll just mix it up, but feedback is always good. Lots of, this was a fun trip. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I feel like I got some good stuff and I did leave in some extra footage. So I asked the question, do you guys like the extra digging? And a lot of you, I think more said yes than that said no. And I have been putting some uncut versions over on my reseller, um, no wait, on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So if you wanna see the uncut versions, the longer videos without me talking, no education, just me digging, you can go over to my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and check those out. And they are always much longer because I cut a lot of footage out. I didn't cut much out of this one, but this is a longer video, it's about almost 30 minutes. So I just thought you guys would enjoy this one because I feel like there's so much stuff that I could have picked up and made money on. All right. I'm trying to remember what all was in here. Do you guys pick up the little cartoon hats? I don't know what that was. I did put this in my cart and then I was like, I do not want to ship that thing. That is going to be super annoying to find a box that that's going to fit. And um, I, I don't think it was special. I could be wrong. Let me know if you guys would have bought the giraffe. All right. And shout out to the ladies I've been shopping with. You know who you are. If you're watching, thanks for watching. Super, super fun. I've been seeing the same people over and over and we shop together and talk and chit chat and it, it's a great time. All right, I don't know what that was. Let's see. See right now, like when I'm not talking, that digging would be cool. There were some masks. I did, um, I handed those off to somebody else who was picking up all the masks. I don't think that they were, um, they weren't like Fun World Division, I don't think. Um, I'm looking for the Scream masks or anything that looks really old, like the Dawn Pounds and stuff like that. Now this little guy, I did not buy it, but I just recently sold two of those that I got out of a mystery box. That is not something that I would typically pick up. It was in one of the thrift store mystery boxes that I got and there wasn't a whole lot in the box, so I was just trying to make my money back. <laughs> And I decided to list those and they actually sold. So that was pretty cool. I thought I would just share that comp with you guys. Again, I didn't grab it because there was only one. Legos, anytime I see Legos, I grab them. I just have an ongoing pile of Legos. And then I will put them in lots and sell them that way. But um, definitely collect them. Another thing that I always grab at the bins are sticker sheets that are sealed. And I just have stickers that piles and piles of stickers and I'm just collecting them and then I will sell them as a lot. They are super, super lightweight. Same with the Legos. It's just kind of a no brainer to grab those and hold on to them. All right. The bins were packed. Open house. Anybody uh, would have grabbed those? I don't think those sell for much. You can get them at Lowe's and stuff like that. And definitely check out some of my other Ben's videos if you haven't seen them. Um, I've done two collaboration videos with Dad Planet. If you're not following him, definitely check out his channel. I did put these in my cart. Uh, vintage uh, music, piano books, stuff like that. Sometimes they can do well, 
those I ended up opening up and they had a lot of writing in them. And I looked up comps and they weren't high enough to warrant keeping. So I threw those back in the bin. This is pretty cool. This is some type of advertising, but they're blocks, they're buildable blocks. And they say like interstate and some different stuff. So I went ahead and bought that and I've got it up for auction because I really don't know if there's a market for it or not. It's probably going to be a long tail item, but um, the blocks aren't branded. They're just a non um, unbranded block that this company uses to advertise. It's a pretty cool idea, actually. This is pretty cool. Do you guys remember playing? Is it ski ball? I remember going to like those places and playing ski ball when I was a kid. That was always one of my favorite games. All right. I don't know what that goes to. A lot of those play sets that are bigger, I just, I won't mess with. I did grab that. It's a little uh, Power Ranger. Any small toys like that, I will throw those in my cart. If I do not list them individually, I will hang on to them and I will put them in a lot and I will call it a toy box. And a lot of times um, I'll sell those on Mercari or I list them on eBay also, but I like to sell those on Mercari. Just fill up like a large flat rate box full of smalls and then people will buy them for their kids to just dig through and play with. I mean, I guess a reseller could buy it. This is a soap. I looked it up. I couldn't find the exact one. I ended up throwing that back in. I probably should have got it. It probably would have been a good bread and butter item. Probably long tail, but maybe not. Probably should have got the soap. Would you have got the soap? Let me know in the comments. I do pick up all these little VTEX. Anytime I find those, they are lights and sound and they're just a bread and butter item, but uh, it all adds up, right? That's a Paw Patrol tower. It's missing pieces. Um, I do know on one of the play sets, there is that top piece that you look through that comes off and that is a good bread and butter replacement part. I did find another Lego booklet. If you watch my last Benzo, Benzo, my last Benz video, I found like 20 Lego manuals. Check out that video to see what I found. I found some really great stuff. I turned, um, I'm going to turn $68 into about $800 from that last haul. So check it out if you want to see how I dig in the bins. And a lot of times I go in after everybody's already picked through it and I find the little treasures, the bread and butter that adds up that a lot of people miss. This is a pair of Solomon shoes. They're so dirty. You almost can't even tell. Look at that. Yeah. But I'm going to clean these up. I can't even tell you what style this is, but I'm going to clean them up and I'm going to put it in one of my videos. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, Courtney, for the opportunity to show your people this because it's a mess. Okay. okay. So are these magic the gathering cards should i have grabbed those i i should have stopped the camera and dug a little deeper on those my husband was just talking about those the other day that he picked some up at a sale or something and he was talking about them i'm like i know some of them can be a bolo and i know terry from mindful recycle who has an amazing channel she just gave me an app where you can look up those cards like Pokemon, is it Yoji or I don't know what it's called, and then Magic the Gathering, and it tells you the value. So I'm going to download or upload, what do you call that, that app to my phone, but I have a video coming soon um, where I feature her store. She is amazing, and um, I talk about the app in that video, so stay tuned for that. I'm not sure which video is going to post first, so definitely look for it if... Um, you're watching this. All right, let's see what else we got here. These little tykes, these go with those waffle blocks. You remember the waffle blocks that I bought a whole bunch of? They kind of look like those, but um, I'm not sure. I didn't pick those up because those were a newer version. The ones I picked up in the other video were vintage. So um, maybe I should have grabbed them. I don't know, but I definitely grabbed the people. Uh, there's two of them. They they look like farmers or cowboys or something like that, but decent comps on those. Now, I showed you these in the beginning, a sneak peek. I do have these up for auction. Um, most of them are, people are selling them individually for $12 to $15 a piece. 
I'm going to sell mine as a set of four. That makes the most sense to me because nobody else has them listed in a lot. I've got them up for $64.99 on auction. If they do not sell, I will increase the price, put it on a buy it now with a best offer. And I also uh, usually run around a 25% sale. There's the other uh, little tykes guy. All right. So what did you guys think about those shoes that Dad Planet is buying? Would you buy those shoes? No way. No way would I spend that much time cleaning those shoes. I looked at them up close and I'm like, it looks like they're a little bit messed up right here. And he's like, we will see. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing his video on how he's going to clean those and if they're going to clean up and if they're going to sell. So you guys tell me in the comments, would you have bought the muddy shoes? And make sure you go over to Dad Planet's channel and sub him up so you can see what how he does it and what they end up selling for. So I don't know if he's going to do an actual video of him cleaning them or if he's just going to show like um, how they looked before and after in a video. No clue. But I'm definitely interested in seeing that because that is not something I would have picked up. You guys, I grabbed a clothing item. This is a tie. I just thought it was cute. It's um, a bread and butter item. It's uh, Into Africa, I think is what it's called. And it's got like the safari animals on it. I just thought it was cute. And it was lightweight. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So I did venture to the clothes. Sometimes like I'm waiting on them to bring out new hard goods. And I'm like, I might as well look at the clothes. I did find, um, it's not this video, but it should be in my next Ben's video that I just recorded. I'm getting everything listed now and then I have to do the edits. But I found an L.L. Bean like bag and I kept it for myself. All right, you guys, I was so excited about this. I was like, I found a bolo. Well, it didn't work. The music worked, but the figures did not skate on the pond. So I am parting it out. And at the screenshots that I'm popping up here are how I parted it out. So I got four or five listings out of that. I'm still going to make really great money on it. It'll probably be long tail. I'm going to have to wait on that person who's looking for those missing parts. But I had all of the figures. They were in excellent condition. So I'm hoping to get about $30 to $35 just out of the figures alone. There's another item coming up also that I find that I was really excited about. I found a sold for $72 and then I opened the box and I realized that the main component was not in there, but I am going to sell it um, for the box and the stuff, the instructions, the CD, the other things that are still in it. So that's coming soon. Um, I can't remember. It's something for like your PC to like for gamers. Maybe I'm not hundred percent sure if anybody is watching and you know, you can let me know in the comments. I feel like it's coming up, but it may be a little bit down the road. Those were, I looked those up, they were not good enough to buy. They were kind of heavy also. Little cabbage patch there. I will tell you, digging through the bins is just, it's, it's so fun. I love it. All right, it's a draft picture. Somebody must have collected drafts that donated. So I have a question. You know how they have the drop-off location for you guys to drop off stuff that you're donating? Does that go straight into the bins or does it go into the Goodwill? Because this is attached to a Goodwill. They're right next door. But I'm wondering if they take stuff to the Goodwill or if it just goes into the bins. Because I donated some stuff the other day and I was really, really curious about that. I should have just asked them. I had stuff in my car and I'm like, I'm just going to get this out of here right now. <laughs> so, all right. There is a cup. I pick it up. I look it up. I can't find one like it. It doesn't have the lid. So... I'm trying to remember the brand. I think it starts with a T. You guys will probably recognize it. But I've heard that people do decent with them. All right, here we go. We've got Marshall and then that little Ariel clip clop. I haven't listed the clip clop yet. This is the mug I'm telling you about. Is it 
oh, I can't remember, Tervis or Trevis or something like that. Should I have got that, that tumbler cup? Let me know in the comments, you guys. All right. So the clip clop, I'm going to hold on to until I find another one. I did find three of them um, in one of my other Ben's videos that I did, and I listed those three as a lot. So those are great little bread and butter items. Uh, I don't know, was that like a potato peeler? Or maybe a carrot peeler, since it was shaped like a carrot, that would make sense. All right, you guys are still waiting to see the crazy item I find. And I did not buy it. I did not buy it. I left it in the I left it in the bin. <laughs> I did pick this up because in one of my recent bins video I missed a Yeti. Everybody was like, "You missed the Yeti." And I went back and I watched and I missed the Yeti and it was teal. I loved it. Can't believe I missed it. I did pick up this scarf. I have not listed it yet. The reason I picked it up, picked it, 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 it up <laughs> is because it's hand rolled there on the ends and I threw it in the washing machine because it was a little dirty, so I still have to get that listed. It's just Lazarus, I believe, so it's not a high-end brand. I did get this hat. It is a Calvin Klein hat. It's super cute. It's like a little floppy beach hat. I figure somebody's going to buy it. It was in excellent condition, and um, I scooped it up. I've done pretty well with those types of hats. All right. I do like this section, I have to admit. Sometimes I find some stuff in uh, like the bags and stuff, purses and I don't know, hats, scarves, accessories. Is that what you would call them? I do find a bag that's brand new with tags that I picked up. And you're gonna see that here shortly, right here. It is a Cabela's small gear bag and it's got the original tag on it. So I figured I could not go wrong with that, right? Somebody's going to be looking for that, probably for like fishing or something. And I found this little kid's uh, youth, a youth medium North Face hat. So figured that would be a nice bread and butter. Mm, that, I don't know what that was. Is that like a, should I have got that hat? Maybe I should have got that hat. Dad Planet pulled a hat that he listed for over $200 out of a bin like this in our last collaboration video. So go check out that video to see what he found. I would not even have looked twice at that hat and he has it listed for crazy money. Okay, so here's that uh, PC thing I was talking about. So there's some sort of like board or something inside of it that was missing, but a lot of times people will buy the boxes. This Barbie sold super fast. She's um, like a Hawaiian Barbie. And yeah, 17 bucks plus shipping. And here it is, you guys, condoms. There were condoms littered throughout this bin. It's funny because I looked over and one of the gals was holding them up and was like, anybody need these? So we all had a good laugh about that. It just goes to show you that you can find anything at the bins. There we go. We were throwing the condoms together. So maybe somebody will need those and they'll buy them. I don't know. <laughs> kind of funny, right? So let's see, what else do we find here? Lots of treasures, lots of treasures today. There's my cart. All right. That is like one of those uh, step one, step two, but they're really big and bulky. Anybody ever sell those? Um, again, they probably reduce the price because it's a big, bulky, heavy item and they just want that stuff out of there. I grabbed these, you know, I threw them in my cart. I figured they'd be bread and butter, but sometimes those trading cards can surprise you. Mine were definitely bread and butter. I went ahead and still listed them just because I had them. Uh, they'll probably be long tail. I don't know if they'll ever sell. Probably not the greatest buy, but I didn't want to risk leaving them behind and having them be something special. The Magic of Gathering or whatever those cards are called. I probably should have grabbed those. That was pretty stupid that I didn't get those. This little thing here, um, the stick. I was looking for the other stick. I have sold those in the past. I thought it was going to be a really long tail. 
I got that same drum set in a mystery toy box from a thrift store. So I went ahead and parted it out, but the drumsticks sold pretty quickly. So I was hoping to find the other one. Those are kind of heavy, those toys. So I went ahead and left them behind. They're more of a long tail item, but the drumsticks I was going to get, but I never did find the other one. So I just threw it back in the bin. It was probably in somebody else's cart, right? Thank you guys so much for being here. I do a ton of what sold videos on this channel, so be sure to check those out also. This is my other channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, and I also have reseller testing Bolo products, and I do a lot of live listing shows over on this channel, so be sure to check those out. They will be linked in the description of the video. I also have a Facebook group that is almost up to 60,000 members, so come on over and join that to learn about more Bolo items to look for. And mentioned in this video was Dad Planet. Definitely go give him a sub. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.